Hey guys, Yipper X5 here. Just uh, giving you a little update on the crypto mining rig. Um, so this is it. It took a lot of troubleshooting and testing to get it all to work correctly. Um, it's uh, I moved about 200 miles, right? And uh, I was able to undervolt these cards. This is just an interesting fact. I was able to undervolt these cards down to where they were each using about 75 watts, which I was very impressed with considering the hash rate that they're getting. I'll show you that here. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm not a professional cameraman. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, both uh, GPU 0 and 1 are producing about 27.8 mega hashes each. So that's pretty good. Um, the way I did that was I overclocked the memory in AMD's Wattman, and uh, I overclocked it to 2200 megahertz. Uh, with the monitor on, it's pulling 400 and about 445 to 450 watts uh, from the wall. Here, let's turn this monitor off really quick. And as you can see, they're pulling about 400 and. 15 watts, 410 watts total. Let's turn that back on. Look at my my beefiness. Come on, monitor. There we go. So, you know, right now they're pulling about 110 watts each, which is uh, kind of annoying. I wish I could drop that lower, but I have a feeling it's just the cards themselves. They don't like to undervolt very well. But these are the single fan power cooler. Um, Radeon RX 480s, uh, as you can see here. So yeah, these are uh, the 4 gigabyte versions, so there's nothing too fancy, nothing too spectacular to work with. It's all powered by a 750 watt power supply right now. I'm a little concerned because I wanted to upgrade this to a 6 card rig. First of all, the motherboard has a uh, two PCI lanes, which kind of bummed me out. This was supposed to be the anniversary edition, which it is, um, and it was supposed to have six PCI Express lanes, which it does not, clearly. But the picture on Micro Center said it did. So you guys need to fix your pictures. And the specification said that it did. But I got a little PNY 120 gig over there. I know my wire management's crap right now. Um, when I get the, I'll get a bigger power supply, more mod, a modular power supply, and I'll have uh, I'll have this rig nice and cleaned up. I actually um uh, got this this design right here for the um, stand for the actual rig case itself from the Bitcoin miner, and uh, I really like it. It's really solid. Um, if I'd put a little more effort into it, I might have been able to make it perfectly flat, perfectly straight, perfectly squared. But since it's not moving, and it's sitting on um, not not too thick carpet, but uh, it shouldn't wiggle too much. But yeah, this is um, this is my rig. I like it. It's doing a really good job. The power supply itself gets a little a little hot. Um, it's not like uncomfortable to the touch, but I think if I got a bigger power supply, I might be able to chill that out a little bit. I think I'm going to get the uh, 1200 watt Supernova from EVGA, the Platinum or Titanium, I don't remember which one it is. Uh, I actually found out that this is not a gold power supply. This is an unrated power supply. Uh, so I will fix that and get a much more better one. And the reason I'm not using this riser is because I bought this riser. It was like 30 bucks from the original days of Bitcoin mining for Micro Center. And they sold it to me for two, two dollars. And uh, it doesn't work <laughs> at all. It doesn't, doesn't register the card or anything like that. And also this board for some reason won't run unless there's a 16X in the main PCI Express slot. Like you see how there is a PCI 1 for PCIe 1X right here, then there's a 16X. And then underneath of here, there's a gap. And uh, 
This 1x is really close to it, but I would be able to run that no problem. So uh, what I'm probably going to do is upgrade to the Pro BTC uh, as soon as I can find one and run them all off of risers. I'm going to get a six pack of riser cables. Um, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about these USB ones, honestly. They are being powered right now through a Molex to SATA. And a lot of people were concerned that these would get hot. And it's warm. Don't get me wrong, it, it is warm, but it's not like burning warm. So I think I think it's been doing good. And this has been running all night. Um, it actually just took a little five minute break, which probably cooled it down enough. But it's been running all night. Uh, and it's been doing pretty good. We're pulling currently 55 mega hashes from this rig. Um, as of the last update, the, I don't know if you can see that very well, but both of the cards are at about, they're about 79 to 81C, which isn't too hot. I mean, it's getting a little, little sketchy, but, uh, it's not getting too hot. So I'll, I'll, I'll when I switch to the Sapphires, I'm going to get the Sapphire, uh, RX 480s, the 4 gig ones, because right now they're about $190 a piece. So, I figure I'll get six of those, probably dump these to power coolers, and uh, upgrade to the sapphires, yeah, you know. Because the sapphires, I think, are made with a little bit better materials and run a little bit better. The really cool thing about this is, for a $180 card, it comes with a back plate, it comes with a really nice, like, honestly, this, this cooler works really well. Um... Because even under extreme load, it's uh, it's not getting too unreasonably warm. Plus, it just looks nice. I mean, it doesn't look cheap at all. Like, this is plastic. This is plastic. I think the back plate might be metal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's metal. But it's uh, like for plastic, it looks it looks cool and it feels strong and that that cooler underneath of it's really good. Um, the only thing I could probably consider upgrading is whenever you get these cards, if you're going to use them for crypto mining, just uh, take it apart, replace the heat sink material, and uh, replace the paste, and get some more airflow over them. Because in this room there's not a whole lot of airflow, so when I get all six cards, and as you can see there's a spot here, 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 for uh, five of the cards, and then I guess the sixth one will chill right down there. Um, I can actually stretch this out a little bit and move these a little bit closer together so I can drill some secondary holes right here, maybe give them a few inches each. Um, but I gave them, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's, that's three inches or two and a half inches in between the cards. Um, to give them plenty of room to, to circulate their air. Uh, another option would be to go with a blower fan design and take a like a box fan and build like build this up a little bit higher, and then build a frame around it. Take a box fan, yeah. put some furnace filter on the top of it, and then suck cool air in and push it down through the machine, or vice versa, pull it up and put some filter material maybe build, like, take a filter material, put it on along the four sides, and that should work pretty well for just pulling the heat up, because heat naturally rises, so it might be better to work with it, you know? Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this Ethereum mining rig's doing really well. Um, it's not quite good enough to mine Zcash right now, efficiently, um, so I'm gonna wait until the hype dies down on that a little bit and see if maybe I might build a my second rig might start mining Zcash. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but all in all, with the build built up the way it's supposed to be with a 1200 watt power supply, uh, Pro BTC motherboard, six pack of risers, and the building material itself, along with um, I did not include the license. So I guess if you want to use Linux, that'd probably be better because Linux is free. Uh, so might as well cut costs where you can instead of spending, you know, 40 or $80 on a license, depending on where you get it from. 
uh, but it costs about sixteen hundred dollars for the whole thing, and that's 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 with the sapphires, not with these. Um, if I was to use six of these, it would be sixty dollars cheaper, give or take. But then I would get a bunch of crap I'm not going to use that they're probably actually going to charge me for. Uh, like right now, I think these come with um, a mouse pad. When I got these, they came with a Civilization V game that I still haven't got, which I'm pretty impressed about. Good job, Newegg. Uh, you got good prices, but sometimes you just do some weird things. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm very happy with this. Um, I wish I could retune the cards back down to 75 or 80 watts, even if I could just tune them down to 90 watts each. You know, that would just make it so much more efficient as a mining machine. Um, I have not tried BIOS flashing these particular cards. Uh, I did have one more. I ended up getting a third RX480 and I BIOS flashed it and the card's dead. It doesn't work anymore. So I, th I guess I did something wrong. But I mostly got that card as a testing card. I didn't really um, have super high hopes for it. So I'll maybe reevaluate my BIOS flash and... Uh, We'll uh, see if we can't jump them up to closer to 30 mega hashes each, which would just be, that would be butter. 30 mega hashes at 90 watts each. Oh man, that'd be so good. Um, and it shouldn't take too long. I'm probably, what I'm going to do is build like a workstation over there to assemble the rigs, put everything together, and get it, you know kind of streamline my process a little bit. I don't plan on building a lot of these. I, w I would like to have seven complete rigs because with seven complete rigs, as of right now with Ethereum, you could get 1.2 giga hashes, which is uh, spectacular. And the way the market's working right now, that's uh, that would be able to pay my rent <laughs> and pay for the power for itself. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll try and give you some more updates and whatnot. Uh, I probably won't upgrade this rig for about a month or two, uh, but when I do, I'm just gonna straight swap out the motherboard, the CPU, and uh, I'm gonna swap the motherboard out and the two cards and the power supply. Um, I'm gonna add some more risers to it because this little solution that I got working right here with the zip ties, it's kind of neat, but it's really dinky. Um, it looks really cheap. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna have a bunch of people walking around looking at my rigs all the time, but you know, for YouTube purposes, I think I'll clean them up a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is Yipper X5, and uh, keep mining.